Hey everyone, welcome. This is Mitch with my very first short series of Halloween reviews. And today I'm going to review the Stormbreaker Axe and Hammer that you can find at your local Party City. Unfortunately, there is no Ruby's costumes, logo, or anything like that. So we might have to look on the back to see who manufactured this. But for all of you guys that don't really care about going in depth about really who made it and you're just wondering where you could probably find your wonderful Stormbreaker Halloween accessory slash prop if you're going to use it as a prop like me for future videos that I post on YouTube and Newgrounds then just stick with trying to find it at your local party city or if you want to try one of those uh, independent Spirit Halloween stores or Halloween City, any stores like that. Try and find it there too. I try to find it at Party City first because they, they got fair prices. So anyway, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Use with adult supervision. Unless you're an adult getting this for yourself, you could assemble it on your own and open it on your own. First impression wise, first impression thoughts, I am super excited and I cannot wait to open it and I will open it for you right now. Usually I have sometimes a problem with these, but again, with my first thoughts, my first impressions, I have to say, pretty easy packaging and good enough packaging to where it doesn't come undone, so you think, Oh, someone already broke into it. Someone already took it apart. And this is what the, uh, I guess packaging looks like. I don't know. But, here we have our Stormbreaker. And as you can see, it comes into two. As you can see, it comes into two pieces. And If you're someone that is sort of bothered by the cheapness of it, then you might find this a flaw about it or a drawback. For me, I, I don't mind the 
the cheapness of it. It'll be easier for me to film with anyway. I don't have the Stormbreaker toy prop to compare, but I remember it's it just looks like that. And it's not in two parts like this one. And it's just short like this. And I didn't bother getting it. And that's what I really like about this one a lot more. Is that the other half of the Stormbreaker comes with it. So it's... It's, uh, the perfect size for an adult, and I don't want to be using something like this that just has, like, half of it. If I want to get something short, I'll just get the regular Thor's Hammer prop. If I want a big axe and hammer, then I definitely pick this one up. Uh, as far as price, as far as the price, not kidding, this was only $18. $18 for this Halloween accessory slash prop and you know since it's part of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War uh, Halloween accessories line and whatnot I thought they would maybe overcharge a little bit like maybe it being $25 maybe 30 and it's still being cheap like this. But you know, they sometimes have to overprice their products a little bit just because of the brand recognition or something. feels really good when you hold it. You try to... I had a feeling that it was going to be a great prop to buy and it's amazing how I was totally right. I definitely recommend this product. I give this a 9.5 out of 10. It's just that good. I don't think I'm missing anything else. For this review, I know this review was really short, but I'm not sure what else to say about it. Other than, if you don't mind the cheapness of this, it will be a really cool Halloween accessory for you to add to your collection. And if you want to do a Thor cosplay or a Marvel cosplay, with the Stormbreaker, then go to Party City and pick this up. I know I'm just fanboying out here and I didn't say all that much, but this is really impressive for the price.
and how cheap this thing feels. I think all the other aspects of this thing really, really make up for it. Especially the price. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this short review of the Marvel Avengers Infinity War Stormbreaker Halloween accessory that you can find at your local party city. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a few other Halloween accessories that I do next. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to hunt down some Outriders with this thing.